Okay, everyone, welcome to your practice. Let's start by standing with our legs shoulder width apart, with our toes, toes pointing forward, and our knees are soft. Feel your tailbone drop down and curl slightly under and lengthen your spine so the crown of your head is reaching towards the heavens. Place one hand on your lower abdomen and the other hand on top of that for deep belly breathing. So just take a deep breath in through your nose and as you inhale, feel your abdomen expand and then exhale out through your nose and feel your abdomen soften. Again, take a deep breath in through your nose, feel your abdomen expand and then exhale out through your nose and feel your abdomen soften. You can even close your eyes here and just focus on your breath. Deep belly breathing draws energy and power into the body, into the center of the body. And breath is life. Breath is chi. So with each breath, we're drawing this life energy into the body. Deeper and deeper. Be a witness to your breath. Let's take a couple more breaths together. I'd like for you to get into a bit of a lunge stance. You're gonna take your right leg forward and your left leg a little back. And you're gonna bend your right knee and make sure that your right knee isn't going past your toe. Just keep the knee over the ankle. And then from here, you're just gonna take your right arm and just shake it out in front of you. And then from here, with your bent right knee, you're gonna just feel your right shoulder draw forward and then you're gonna draw it up. And as you draw the shoulder up, you're going to lengthen through your right leg a little bit. And then draw the shoulder back, and then down. As you draw your right shoulder down, bend your right knee a little bit more. So inhale, as you take the shoulder forward, up, back, exhale as you come down and forward. So inhale through your nose, exhale out through the mouth. So again, imagine that you are pouring oil into the shoulder joint so that the scapula bone glides more easily on the ribs and this glenohumeral joint. And the shoulder just moves with a bit more ease and effortlessness. I believe movements like this are called silk reeling. So we want the joints to move in the body like silk. Let's do this one more time. Good. So let's take this back leg forward. Let's take your right leg back. Here we are with the left arm. Shake out your left arm balance of the body, do the same thing on the other side. So we take the shoulder forward, up, back, down. Again, forward, up, back, down. So really feel the shoulder move through all these different ranges of motion. So as you draw the shoulder forward, your scapula bone is moving away from the spine. As the shoulder goes up, the scapula bone goes up. And then back and down, the scapula bone goes down. So that bone should be able to glide over the rib cage in the back of your body with ease. Let's do one more. Great. So now, let's do a twisting exercise. So this also opens up the shoulder joint, 
but it also opens up the spine. I'm going to face in the opposite direction because I think it'll be easier for me to teach it to you and for you to follow. So, start by taking your right hand and bring it behind you. Draw the hand as high up on the back as you can. If this is challenging for your shoulder, you can also think about having the hand a little bit further down. Just listen to your body. So that your opposite hand is going to be in front of the heart. Your knees are soft, legs are about shoulder width apart. You'll take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, you'll twist to your right. As you rotate through your spine, you're gonna push this left arm to the wall behind you, looking over your right shoulder. Inhale back to the center. Your left hand is in front of your heart. Exhale as you rotate to the other side. Pulling the arm back, rotating through your spine. Feeling as though your head is following your hand. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, rotating the spine. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate. So this again is a wonderful exercise to do to open up the spine as well as the shoulder joint. When we open up the spine, we give a nice little boost to the central nervous system. As we grow older, we want to make sure that our spine is still as supple and as flexible as it can possibly be. So not only just the joints, but the muscles that interact with the joints, the tendons. Good, now let's lower your left arm, lower your right arm, shake them out. Bring your left arm behind you. Right arm again, hand in front of the heart. Take a deep breath here. And as you exhale, rotate the spine to your left. Look over your left shoulder. Feel this hand reaching towards the wall behind you. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, rotate to the other side. Take a deep breath in through your nose, coming back to the center. Exhale out through your mouth. So just as a gentle reminder, this is a great exercise that you could even do sitting down. So many of the exercises that we've done today could be done in a seated position, perhaps on a stool. So if you have limitations in terms of being able to stand, standing too long bothers your body, sit down. Let's do it one more time on each side. back to the center. Relax your arms down, shake them out. Good. Okay, so now let's do another exercise that mobilizes the joints of the spine, but moves the spine through flexion and extension. So it's called the wave. So we have the arms down, the hands are resting on your thighs. You're gonna send the hips back. Lead with your chest and the chin as you bend forward from your hips. Drop your head, curl your tailbone under, slowly roll up through your spine. Your head is the last thing to lift. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Again, inhale as you roll up. And exhale out. So I'll go profile so you can see a different point of view. So as you roll up through your spine, your head is the last thing to lift. And then as you exhale out through your mouth, you bend forward. I like to imagine that I'm drawing a circle with my chin. 
as I perform this movement. So as I roll up, feel the energy drawing up the spine. And then as you bend forward, energy goes down. And forward. Inhale as you roll up. Exhale. Let's do this a couple more times. One last time. Ah. Good. 